Hey folks, this is Vince and Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Meeple Land. This game supports two to four players. It's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is roughly 60 minutes. This is a build-your-own amusement park kind of game, where each player has a plot of land similar to that of, say, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and they're going to be building an amusement park. So here's a quick look at all the different components. Here's the English rule book. There is a French one as well, which I can't read. Um, yeah, not very bilingual. I can speak a little bit of Spanish, but anyway. Me gusta pantalones. All right, so here's the rule book. It's roughly eight pages long. Uh, one complaint that I do have is that there is no quick guide as far as like this is the, a round or turn overview this is what you can do on your turn and so on but then again the game isn't all that complicated so maybe it didn't need one but i'm just saying it would have been nice to have one so that's the rule book i'll be referring to that as i need to here's a quick look at the box insert um there's some extra meeples that we're not using but we'll we'll pull them out as we need to these are gate entrances. Uh, these are score pads here. Uh, there's some more banners for the park entrances. They look a little something like this. And you've got some money in here, five and ones, and that's about it. Okay. The rest of the stuff on the very top, ignore the very top. These are extra plots that we're not using, but do pay attention to these three large pieces here. That's from this stack. Those are large attractions that you're going to be adding to your park. You've got these medium-sized attractions that you're going to be adding to your park, and you've got these small attractions which will be added to your park. These small attractions are double-sided. On the back, um, you've got these meeples along with a cost, and I'll come back to that. So just be warned that there's an attraction on one side and meeples on the other with a cost. Okay. So, um, let's take a look at what these attractions look like. So here's a quick look at the pirate ship. This is what a particular attraction can hold. It can hold two of these pink meeples and one of these blue meeples, and it costs $7 to buy and put into your park. Same thing with these medium ones. You've got the same thing going on. This thing wants a blue meeple. It costs two to be added to your park. And you'll notice there's little paths, and that's important. All right. Um, the small ones, they come in different flavors, but um, like this desert one, for example, this is a wild meeple. Any meeple can go there. Some don't even have meeples. Like, here's a restroom, and there's a reason why you'll be putting restrooms and burger stands down and different things like that. In fact, let's go ahead and show you that now. This particular attraction has a little ribbon on it with a burger on it. If you directly connect adjacent um, a burger stand and the path matches, then this will fulfill that. That means you will be allowed to put a yellow meeple here. If you do that, then you'll get extra money at the end of the round. Okay, And I'll get to the money earning in a little bit. All right, so uh, down here you've got the round tracker. It's one, two, three, and four. So there's four rounds in the game. You've got these bus stops here um, and these bus cards. You're going to deal out a number of buses equal to the number of players plus one. So in a two-player game, there's three of them. Each bus has meeples on it. So there's four green and two yellow on that bottom one there. You're just going to put out a number of meeples on these buses as appropriate. Okay, and again, each player gets a large plot of land, one of these entrances, and their entrance is here. The first player starts with this ticket, and the second player starts with one buck, and any other player start with one more buck on top of that. Um, each player also receives a score sheet. Um, at the end of the game, if you're going to score points the more different types of attractions that you have. As you're putting attractions down, you're going to be crossing them off. At the end of the game, you'll be saying, okay, I've got eight different attractions crossed off, so I'm going to score six points, or what have you. You're also going to score points for different things as well at the end of the game. All right, so how does a round play out? Again, there's four rounds. Um, on a player's turn, they're either going to buy a tile and place it in their park, or they're going to advertise. Advertise it means you look at the top one of the deck, the small one, you're going to pay that cost and you're going to add these meeples to your park in some way. 
if you can't do the buying and you can't do the advertising, you'll pass. Passing means that you're done for the round and you can't do anything else. Once you do pass, you'll grab a bus of your choice and you'll put the meeples either in your park entrance or in the park somewhere on the attractions that can hold them. At the end of the game, if you have any meeples that are in your park entrance, then you'll lose points. So you're trying to get as many meeples as you can scattered throughout your park. Okay, so you're trying to take the right meeples to match all of the different park rides that you have. Okay? So that's the gist of it. Uh, at the beginning of every round, each player also receives grant money. There's 15 bucks, 10 bucks, five, and nothing. So we earn more money at the beginning of the game to help kickstart our park, and then toward the end of the game, we're gonna receive little to no money, okay? Um, at the end of every round, we also earn some money based off of how many people we have in our park. Um, each attraction, um, the regular people is a dollar each. So if I had two blue meeples on this attraction, it'd be two dollars, one for each blue meeple. If I satisfied the one with the ribbon, then I would earn uh, two bucks instead of one. So these earn double, okay? It's, you're going to the extra trouble of getting a concession stand or whatever connected to this. And in doing so, you earn an additional buck for getting that there, okay? So you earn money at the end of the, at, at the, end of the round and you know also get receive grant money. And for the next round, that'll help you buy more attractions for your park. Once per game, you can add at cost. Um, I believe they're six bucks, I think. It's either backwards. I'm not sure which it is. I think it's, uh, yeah, six bucks. It's just weird that the dollar sign is to the right. It, maybe it's actually nine. I'll have to look that up. But um, you're, you can add one of these to your park, like so, just to extend it, okay, in case you need to. Also, um, once per game, you can also add a park entrance. So let's say that you are placing those attractions down and your pathing is such that you've blocked yourself in and you can't do anything else. Well, once per game, you can buy a park entrance, add it to the outside of your board, and now that becomes a new path that you can use to buy more tiles, okay? As far as those paths that I was talking about, you'll notice that these paths have, you know, you can actually see like here's the path here. You're gonna be putting those down. Whenever you're placing a tile, it has to be connected to an existing path. So if I had this on my, on my park, I could do something like this. I could do something like that. These would be connected appropriately. Now you may be able to do, like this would not be, this would not be legal because there's no paths here that connect to each other. Um, I'm trying to find an example of one where, maybe if I rotate it this way, no. Okay, well, if, if you get to a situation where you have a dead end, and the dead end is leading into grass and not out of your park, then that'll be worth negative points at the end of the game. Okay, so try not to create any dead ends in your park. I may have missed a rule or two, but that is the gist of it. Over the course of four rounds, players build up their parks, they earn money, they bring in meeples, meeples earn them money, meeples will earn them victory points at the end of the game based on their color, and uh, also different attractions, the number of different attractions you have will also earn you some extra points. Whoever's the most wins. And that's the gist of it. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so before we get started, it's worth noting that this is our first time playing. So we may get a roll wrong or two or miss something, but that's to be expected. Okay, so I'm gonna treat this as $9. I mean, it just makes sense. The dollar sign should be before the, the value and not after. So these are worth nine, these are worth three. Okay, so it is your turn. You've got the first player marker. And you can do one of two things. You can buy something. Well, actually, you get 15 bucks as starting grant money, as do I. Uh, you won't be able to afford anything without that. So here's 15 for you, and there's 15 for me. I start with an extra buck because I'm second player. Mm -hmm. And on your turn, you can buy one of those, um, or you can advertise, which means bring meeples into your park without the bus. I am going to buy something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any of those different tiles. I'm gonna buy the toilet. The toilet. 
That's the first thing people see when they walk in, is the <laughs> toilet. All right, and these are refreshed immediately. All right. So here's another toilet. There's not a whole lot of different concession stand types. So oh, and it's cheaper! Ours is, is it really cheaper? Yeah, it's the dollar less. Ooh, okay. What well. the heck? All right, fine. So you, you, th that's the gold toilet there. <laughs> I wish it was gold. It doesn't even look gold. Anyways, so do I put this down now or? Do yes, I... you have to put it down now at the park entrance. Oh, gross! I Fine. told you want to change that. It has to be connected to an existing path, and you've only got one path going in. That's all right. I mean, it connects to everything, so I guess it's all right. All right. <laughs> My turn. I will. Let's take a look. Um. We've got one burger stand out there. There's a toilet there. Uh, there's a toilet there. Okay, so what I'll do, you're going to want those larger attractions. So I think I'm going to go with this Ferris wheel thing. And it looks something like that. And I have to spend five bucks. That goes into the bank. And I'm going to put that. Now, again, paths that go out of the park are okay. It's paths that go, maybe I might want to do this instead. Because now we've got a path going to the right. Hmm. When does the round end? When we both pass. I see. All right. I guess I'll do that. Um, so when we run out of money. Basically. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to put this thing. There's two paths going up. I could bring one that way and one that way. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. So this is now placed and it is now your turn. This is going to get refreshed. Okay. I'm spending seven dollars to get this one. Okay. And I'll put it here. All right. And I, we cross our stuff off. Yeah, as you do them. Yeah. So, for example, I got the Ferris wheel. I think so. I'm gonna cross that one off. I don't know what you got, but yeah, just cross them off as you get them. And replenish. All right. Um, this one needs a burger stand and a yellow meeple. Uh, let's see. So, do I want to get a burger stand now? I could. Um, that one is four. This one is three. That's cheaper. So, I'm going to go and put that here. I'm going to spend three bucks. One, two, three. Oh, one, two. Change. And that is my turn. So, that flips there. That is another, looks burger? like a gift shop. Oh, what? Looks. This one? That's both a burger and a gift oh, shop. Oh, this is, this is both a burger and a gift shop. That's that just a gift cool. shop. Neat. Okay. Alright. Oh, um, did I grab the wrong one? You yeah, this is a gift shop. I don't want the gift shop. Oh, you're trying to get the burger? Yeah, I was trying to get the burger. There's no burger. I dealt that one. That's not a burger either. Is it? Yeah, this one was there already, so I'm going to take that oh, one Oh, was instead. it? I'm pretty sure. Mm, I thought that was the one that you just came out. All right, whatever. Let's do this. I don't know. <laughs> well, then here, we'll do this, and let me take that back then. So I don't want, I don't want that for three, because I need a burger connected to that. Um, in that case, I will... I, I don't know. Should we can rewind the tape. That's fine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress over it. <laughs> I will lose so much sleep tonight. <laughs> Jeez, you're gonna win anyways. It doesn't no. matter. Um, let's see. That will create a dead end. This one. It's a toilet. Wow. This one could go here, but then that would lock me into this right direction, and I don't want to do that. So, wow, okay. I, I may have to take one of those, even though I don't want to. Um, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this gift shop for four, and that way I've got more choices. Um, so I'll put that here in the middle, and I'll give up four. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. It is your turn again. And then we'll replenish. I can always try and find a burger stand some other time. There you go. Yeah. 
I'm going to take the burgers. No, I'm just kidding. You could. <laughs> no, no. You totally could. Um... I gotta say that. Okay. Um. Alright. I'll do three for another toilet. Another toilet. Wow. Why are the two toilets next to each other? That's interesting. <laughs> You're really playing that long game. Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> um, lastly, uh, let me just refresh. There's a burger and a toilet. Um, this one is... Let's see this one. That one's got a gift shop on it. So I'm going to want this one for sure. So I could play that here for six. Okay. And I have to pass, right? And, yeah, advertising is three. Yeah. yeah, so I may have to pass. I only have one coin as well. So when you pass, you're going to choose one of these buses to take. You're going to take this one. Um, wait, do I want to? Well, look at your meeples and see which, which ones you want. You have a two pink and one blue, and these don't take any. Alright, so these go to you. I'm going to put them on your entrance for now, but then you can read throughout the entire game, you can redistribute these any way you want to. Anytime, any, even on my turn, you can redistribute. These go back in the box once you use them. So I'm just going to put them off to the side. Alright, now I'm going to pass, and I'm going to do the same thing. Now, um, does the new one refresh immediately? Or no, no, at the end of the round. So I'm going to take, let's see, you've got yellows and blues. So I'm going to just take, it just makes sense for me to take this one. And these go there. That goes away. And again, go ahead and distribute those because they're going to earn you money at some point. Pretty soon, actually. Um, two yellow there. Okay, and these blue ones have to stay outside because there's no space for them right now. All right, now we move on to the income because we both passed, we both grabbed our buses. Now we earn income based on what we've got. So looking at your park, um, is this connected? You've got what? Two, two pink? pinks. So now two those dollars. are yeah, those are um, yeah, those are ribbons though. So those earn you extra money, right? I guess. I don't Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, it says plus plus dollar sign on it. So the fact that you've got pink ones in your park, they're just automatically worth more money for you. So how much is that? So that's two dollars two dollars per. So that's four bucks that you just got. Uh, so otherwise it'd be one dollar? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. And then I've got two, four, five, oh, six. Nice. So I take six bucks. Alright, and now we replenish the buses. For the next round, looks like they're roughly the same. So three pink, three green, three pink, two green. I'm gonna have to grab more meeples out of the bag. Need more? Uh, no. I think that's it. Okay. All right. So now we're in round two. And the player with the, the least amount of money will go first. Do we get ten dollars each? Once we oh, do sorry. this. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Who has the least amount of money? I have five bucks. I have seven. All right, so you're first player again. Now we get our grant money. You get ten, I get ten. Okay. All right, and it is your turn. So now round two, you get to, again, buy, advertise, or pass. I'll buy for six bucks. I'll buy this thing. Okay. Okay, good. I don't do that. Cause it needs two toilets, right? Um, I think as long as it's connected to one toilet, it should be fine. Seriously? I, I don't know. I'm pretty yeah, as long as it's connected to one toilet. That's why I asked you why you did two toilets in a row. I thought like it that. was two toilets. Oh my god. That's it's so fine. Funny. It's fine. Again, this is our first game, it's not gonna you yeah. know if it matters that much, we'll consider it. 
right. we'll give you we'll give you pity points at the three end of the game. Three dollars. I spent three dollars. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll calculate this gets that in my head. Sure. All that right. doesn't make sense though. Like, if it. It didn't say anything about it in the rule book. So as it's long as it's weird. connected, it earns. Why? Did, all right. It's just weird how they put that. They should have put like two meeples next to one toilet. Then I don't like that. Okay. It's dumb. Um. <laughs> yeah, because I counted this gift twice. Oh, I see. So we just need to be consistent about it. That's all. All right. Fine. Um. Anyway. So now I need to find places for more blue if I can. So I'm going to look for rides that need blue. This one actually needs blue. Let's see if I can fit this somewhere. But it's another Ferris wheel. I've already got a Ferris wheel. Um, what about these smaller ones? Let's see. This one needs... There is no special ribbon on. Like, there's... It needs a gift shop, but there's no benefit for me getting that. Um, but... The downside to this is that that locks me on this side. So as much as I want to add this one, it's not going to be beneficial for me to do that. Um, let's see. It's crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this one needs a burger attachment for the blue maple. This one is a merry-go-round and just needs one blue meeple. It's just that that locks it completely. That's just that's no good. There's no other paths. This would be good in a corner. Actually, that could go here, like so. And I could be done with that. And that would be two bucks. You know, we'll do that for two bucks. And that would cross off. I'm gonna put my blue meeple there. And that would cross off my merry-go-round. And I also have a rocket ship of some kind. Yeah. All right. And it is your turn. I'll go ahead and refresh that. I will pick $6 for this thing here. Okay. Uh, which Big is... spender. Yeah. Um... And I have to put it adjacent, huh? It has to be adjacent to an existing path. Okay. You're good? Now, again, if you have to keep your memory... Oh, wait, you don't have a gift shop yet. No, not yet. Okay. Okay, yeah. How's that going to work? It'll work. Remember, the gift shop has to be connected to it directly. Unless you buy one of these to add here. Yeah. You'd have, that's the only way you... Can I connect it here? You yeah, know the path? No. Remember, it has to be directly adjacent via path. Oh, Remember I said that? So won't you change that? Because it, it, it's up to you if you want to keep it. But um, the way the, the concession stands work, the concession stand has to be directly adjacent to it via path. And this, and this... Can I do this even though it's not connected yet? No. It has yeah. to be connected to an existing path. Okay. So, want, want to pick something different? No. So you are going to expand out this way, probably. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I will draw. A new I'm a one. dangerous. I'm a risk taker. You are a risk taker. If I didn't lose three dollars, I probably would have risked more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that over there is interesting. I need something that's going to connect. Do we have to place a tile as soon as we buy it, or can we hold on? No, to it? you have to place it immediately. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Get the heck out of here, she says. Okay. All right then. This one would not fit. This one does fit, but it's another merry-go-round, and I don't want that. Um, this one fits perfectly. Downside. Okay, so, but the downside is there's no up path. All right. Do I have this one yet? No, it also needs a burger stand connected to it. So, okay. All right. I guess I'll go with that one and I'll pay three bucks. So I get two and change. And 
go. My turn? Yep. I'm gonna cross up. That's bumper cars, I think. Mm, indeed. <laughs> I hate all of these. Well, how much does it cost to completely refresh? <laughs> To completely destroy your park and start yes, over, yes. you have to forfeit the game. What the heck? I forfeit. <laughs> well, you can't put those there yet, not until uh, you yeah. expand. I know. Um, that's why I forgot. Um, all right. This is one dollar. These things. Uh, this says the, three dollars. I mean, like the, yeah, the ribbon. The, the, let me see. Oh, it's not even a ribbon. No, it's if it thing. says plus dollar sign, that's the extra money. This is not extra money. Really? Yeah. I thought it, it, it has like... to, it has to say plus dollar sign on it. Oh, I thought even if you put stuff here, it's one dollar. It is one dollar. That's what I was asking. Is yeah, this that's $1? The, that's one dollar. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Every meeple is a dollar unless it says dollar sign plus dollar sign, yeah. and then it's two. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. I got this. Alright, I'm going to get, okay, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my head, okay, I'm going to get this, oh crap, I can't afford it, <laughs> you've got three bucks to your name, okay, you can always pass, and just stick with what you have, or, you're going to get five grant money at the beginning of the next turn, plus however many, how much money you get for the meeples in your park. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll get this for three dollars. Okay. There you go. Get yourself back into the game there. That's all your money. You need to get back into the game. Like, you need to get back. You have no pads here, no pads here, nope. So, like, this is the only way to get into this section here. So, you need to do something to do, you know, to get up there. All right. It's up to you. It's your, yeah. it's your board. I'm not yeah. going to tell you what to do. I'm just trying to help. Decisions, decisions. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to... Uh, let's see. This needs a burger stand. So more than likely, I'm going to buy, um, put this, that's a gift. I keep taking the wrong one. This is, this is a restroom and, um, do any of these need a restroom? That one does, but, hmm. Is that going to fit in my park? That's a, that would be a waste. That's another gift one. I've already got... Hmm. See, if I put... If I put that there... I could then put... Hmm. I guess it, now it depends on what color meeples I want. Or I can put, well, no, I need to put a burger thing there. If I'm going to make use of that. So I have to choose one. Do I want the gift or do I want the toilet? I've got the gift already. I can build off. So I'll get the toilet just in case I can build off that in the future. So I'm going to put, for $4, I'm going to put the toilet here. And that's five, one. Okay. And your turn. You have no money. Pass. Pass. So now you grab a bus. One that'll get you some money for the next round. Because you need some blues and greens here if you can. 
There you go. Get them all filled up. You patronizing me? No. You I'm, patronizing my patrons? I am just trying to be positive. Positively patronizing. Yes. <laughs> That's good. What are you, the pee police? <laughs> Police Done? and fire department or phone and fax. Don't even go there. <laughs> Is that all you can place? Yeah. Okay. This is bad. Um, I'm going to take another turn. Um, I've got some money left. Um, so the question is, I've got a toilet here that I could make use of. Actually, I'm going to put my blue one there as a reminder. I need a green one at some point. So I'm probably going to want, well, no matter which one I take. It's either going to be two green or three green. Five meeples or six meeples. Right. <laughs> Um, and the new one should have come out. There we go. I need a toilet one here, if at all possible. Um, this one is a toilet thing, but the question is, is it going to fit in my park snugly? It does. Perfect. Okay. So this one goes that way. This one goes... Per I like it. Okay. Um, so for $5, there's that. And I'm going to cross off the little clown... Whatever that is. What is that? Western tent. Okay. And I've got three. Now, you've already passed, so you're done. I've got three bucks left. Do I want to do anything else? Um, preferably, yes. Um, if I'm going to be taking one of these, I need to get rid of some pink meeples. So is there anything on the board for $3 that I can get pink meeples for? Um, this one's yellow, so that's the answer is no. Um, this is too blue, so the answer is no. So no matter what I do, I'm not going to get rid of those pink meeples. Um, that stinks. Um, and I don't have enough money to... Hmm. This is a... I may actually want to pass and then save my money to help me buy more pink in the future. Because there, there are more pink rides, but they're too much for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pass as well, and I'm going to grab a bus. So I'm actually going to grab, let's see, I've got two green here, and actually I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab as many as I can, in case I'm good enough to get more in the future. So I'm just going to do that, just fine. So these three pink go at my entrance, because there's no place for them. The three green, there's two green there, and one green there. And I still need a yellow one there. I need a yellow, so I need more yellow in my part, too. Okay. All right, so that ends that. So this... You still have three dollars? I still have three dollars. Oh. Um, we get new, we get more income. Um, how much income do you get? You get two, four, five, oh, two, four, six, because you've got two pink which is two bucks each, and a blue with a uh, toilet. Mm -hmm. That's an extra two, so that's six. Mm -hmm. And then there's two, okay, so that's eight, ten, because mm -hmm. this needs toilets. Okay, so yeah, you got ten bucks. So you get ten, plus your five, actually that, that'll come later. Okay. I don't think it matters because um, mm -hmm. we both get the same amount of grant money. Mm -hmm. um, and I get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I get eleven bucks plus five grant money. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have less money than me, so it's. Do the bus refreshes? It, yes, they will. Sorry, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was getting there. Three green and five green. I'm gonna draw oh more from the Lord. bag. Lots of green. Mm -hmm. Not liking that. Mm -hmm. This needs one more green here. Oh, wait. I, got I put it. some out. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You get to go first. All right. You have less money. I have $15. To your name. I've got 19 Whatever. <laughs> so, um, first thing I'm going to do is, ex well, no. I don't want to do that. Or don't want to play it kind of ruthlessly. I don't know. I don't know either, huh? I don't know. Oh. You've got three yellow, three blue, and one pink at your entrance. Yeah. So I would try and cater your next rides to try and... Because at the end of the game, again, any any 
people that you have left over at your entrance will be negative points. Yeah. So your job is going to be trying to get as many of those people at the entrance into your park. Mm -hmm. Um, oh my god. <sighs> this sucks. Alright, <laughs> I'm gonna do... Is that gonna be the uh, tagline for this game on the box? Idly, it sucks. <laughs> Dad's gaming addiction. What's 10 minus 6? Four. Oh no, this is 9, isn't it? That's a nine. I can be. I can give you a pity. No. I just. I hate that I spent four dollars. Seven. I spent seven dollars for nothing. <laughs> like I'm so mad. Why don't you, as again, as a beginner, no. why don't we take take some extra money? No, it's a, as a. No, this is how. This is like on how not to play. That's all. <laughs> it's up to. How about I give you four no. bucks for free? No. Just, I'm just saying, take no, it. No, it's fine. No. Take it. No, I'm going to play this right and I'm still going to beat you. <laughs> All right, you do that. Is that what this is? It's an ego thing? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My pride. Me. My pride will not be denounced. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Denounced. <laughs> Denied? Okay, whatever. Denied. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put this one there for six. And are you crossing off your rides as you get them? Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I did already. All right, so I got the pirate ship. Yeah. I'm going to get the stupid friggin' french fry place. The french fry place. Is that... That's a... Is that a gift shop? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a gift is. shop. Yeah, that's what you need. You need a gift shop. I guess. But if it goes out here, you get negative points, right? No, you're fine. It's, no, it, what I mean is if it goes, if it hits a dead end, if it hits green grass. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Yeah. So if it's like this. Yes, see how that, that okay, dirt road is hitting. So, as long, so if the mat, it's, it's If not, there's a mismatch, green, there's a tile with grass and a tile with path and they, they yeah. mismatch, but that's that, negative points. Okay, so that doesn't count with the grass on the mat, yes, right? Yes, okay. correct. I believe so. All right, well then in that case, we'll just do that then. All right. <sighs> Alright. Alright. So I'm going to refresh that. Alright, let's see what I'm going to do here. Um, Alright, well, I need, actually, let's go ahead and put these in here. I need more yellow people in my park, for sure. Um, unfortunately, this is, advertising is blue-green right now, which is not helpful. Um, I need to get more pink in my park. So what could I take that I don't have that would get me green, uh, get me pink? Um, do I have this scary castle yet? I do not. Okay, so what could I do with this to... And I could put that here. There we go. And both pads connect and then they lead up and to the left. So that would be five bucks. And I want to put my pink there, and that's my scary castle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to spend three dollars and buy this stupid yo-yo ride. <laughs> the yo-yo ride? <laughs> stupid. Stupid yo-yo ride thing. And I'll put it right here. Yeah, get those people in your park. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I want to do it like this? It's kind of cool, but it's a little dangerous. <laughs> I'll just do that. That's fine. All right, now looking at... You happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, absolutely. Okay. I couldn't be any more ecstatic. All right. I am going to, with my $8, replace this as my first thing. Okay, so looking at the buses, there's a lot of green, a lot of pink. I need to figure out which one I would take if I were to take one. Um, I know which one I want, but 
So I think green is a safe bet at this. No matter what bus I take, I'm gonna have to fill green in somewhere. So I think green a green ride for me is the right move. So I need to figure out, let's see, this is four bucks, and it's a ride that I don't have yet, and it connects here perfectly. All right, so that goes up there, that goes there, four bucks. So here's five, one and change. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Pass. <laughs> pass. All right, so let me cross that off. Okay, so passing, you get to take a bus of your choice. I'm going to take this one. You're going to take that one. Okay. Yep. Lots of green, lots of pink. Ah, two pinks. And I'll just take the card and put it over here. You're fine. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to take my turn. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got four bucks left. The question is, can I do anything with it? I'm gonna take this one for sure. That's gonna fill a yellow here and a yellow here. It's gonna fill a void in your life. I need another green somewhere. I'm ignoring her. <laughs> um, As well you should. <laughs> I have... Do I have this one? I can't see very well. Um, no, I don't have that one. And it's too green. All right, and it's four bucks. It's exactly how much money I have left. Whoa. So in that case, how can I put this somewhere that not, that would cause a mismatch there? That would cause, oh, perfect. No, okay, these are going off the mat, so those are fine. Um, so four bucks, one, two, three, four. And cross off my little whatever that is. I'm changing my position. Okay, go. For it. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So now I, you pass, I pass. I'm gonna take this one. And one yellow there, one yellow there, green, two greens there, and one green there. And that goes away. Um, can I maximize anything? Mm, okay, so now we earn income. You're gonna position again, huh? Okay. Um, whatever you need to do, it's fine. Technically, you're not allowed to do that, but at this, it's a. I spent money on some. I know, I know. <laughs> but you're gonna beat me fair and square, right? I am. Uh huh. Okay. So. <laughs> it's okay. I like how the rules can't be broken unless you want to break them. <laughs> It's not beating me fair and square unless it's you totally say fair and it square. it is. So anyway, I don't care. You do what you want. I get one um, one saving grace. Right? One mulligan. Yeah. I see. Income. What do you got? What? Nothing. Oh. What's this one? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 22, very good. So there is 20, 22. We, we get no income, no grant money. Um, my income is, let's see, one, we'll start, uh, two, three, oh, this is not connected to a gift, so it has to go on that one. So one, two, um, this is connected. So three, four, five, six. Mm. Wish I could like mark off the ones I've already done. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, um, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. No toilet. Oh yeah, there's a toilet. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh my goodness. So. Did we score the same? Yeah, I think so. Cool. You got a lot of doubles. I don't. Like, I have a lot of singles. You have a lot of doubles. You have way more tiles than I do. <laughs> That's right. not even fair. So fourth round. Um, I don't think... It, well, yeah, we have to do this. My, yeah. my park is a dump. <laughs> No, it's not. It's, a it's, <laughs> it's just, you can you can dumb. get extra points into the, the game for having a landfill no. right here. <laughs> what a, it's a junkyard. You go in, you immediately see the, two toilets. The, 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 this is where amusement parks go to die. <laughs> oh man, two toilets. 
toilets. One with, like to vomit in when you enter, yeah. one to vomit. Hey back. Tom, what do you want to do with this merry-go-round that, that this park has had for 50 years? I'll send it to the Ida Lee Park. <laughs> It's like so hillbilly. Yeah. My gosh. All right. <laughs> Shoes optional. <laughs> you got to sign a waiver form. Yeah, you have to you sign try. a waiver. <laughs> do you promise, do you hereby swear not to sue the park in case of bodily injury? I have no money. <laughs> Even if they sued me, yeah. it doesn't matter. You can't bleed a stone, right? <laughs> buses at the end of this or no? Yes. Oh, we have to? Yeah. Gross. So I have to get, that's three yellow. That's so nasty. Three blue, <laughs> four blue, and two pink. Sure. Jeez. This could be a lot of negative points for me. <laughs> now nah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All the people are in the intro. They're so confused. These are dead bodies right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 wow. You've got a bulldozer and you're just shoving people towards the entrance. I need a crematorium here. Yeah, but... Where's the crematorium card? Wow. <laughs> That's in the expansion. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Landfill. I don't even know where we are anymore. Um, Round four. <laughs> Whoever has least amount of money. I have 22. I have 22 as well. In case of a high... <laughs> the most dead bodies. The most dead <laughs> bodies. Is your park's name Ida Lee? Oh, then man. Yes. Uh, the current first player cannot be first player again. Okay, in so case of time. So I get to go first. Yes. For the first time this entire game, I get to go first. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... <laughs> I don't get to fill, uh, choose my death trap. <laughs> no. All right. So I need to figure out... How to fill, okay, what colors do I need to fill for the end of the game? I've got pink, yellow, uh, yellow, so I need to, I think the, the bus I have my eye on, I have, okay, I have my eye on a particular bus, and I need to fill another color in order to do that. So, let's find that, um, hmm, that is tempting, do I have that one? That's green, though. What's this one? Do I have that one somewhere? Um, yes, I do. Which one don't I have yet? Maybe I should look at look at my sheet and see which one I don't have. I don't have the huge, like... No, I don't... Oh, this one. I don't have that one. Ooh, and that's uh, kind of what I need, actually. Um, these three here. So, I will probably buy this one. And put that... The downside is... Trying to get this to fit in my park. Ooh. Okay, there we go. That connects there and here. These go out, that goes out. Um, the downside is um, this is the only way I can get to the rest of my park. So that's six bucks back to the bank. And it is now your turn. Um. Jeez. <laughs> And we have to pick a bus at the end of it, huh? Yes. I'm trying to plan ahead for that, yeah. if at all possible. Same. Remember, these desert-looking fountains, yeah. they count as one wild. You can put one wild on it. I it's know. four, and they also count, it also counts as uh, one of your cross-offs here, speaking of which. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's down on the very bottom there. Oh, jeez. Alright. I've got ten, I need two more, and one of which is that fountain. I don't think I'm going to get to that other one. I don't even see it up there. Hmm. Ouch. Okay. How many things do you have? I have 10. Wow, okay, never mind. Yeah, I lost this. <laughs> no, you're fine. No, this was a detriment. <laughs> I told you I would give you no. some extra money to help you rebuild your park. No, it just sucks. DGA <laughs> loan and savings. Rub it, rub it in my face, stick it to me. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Uh -huh. 
Well, I, it's really tough, man, being $3 under. Because I could have done way more, so much more. Okay. All right. Enough complaining. <laughs> you want the three dot here? Have no, no, I can't. It's too late. We're on the last round. You can it. use it for. It doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just frustrating. Okay, we should start the whole video. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm having the best game of my life right now. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Rub the salt in the wounds. I'm just saying. I hey, have... you won the last two games. I don't want to hear it, young lady. You beat me in smartphone and you beat me in the Cloud City game last night. Fair and square, I might add. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. And um, who knows, maybe you'll win this too. I'm just saying. No. Do we get money at the end of it? No. Money doesn't count as victory points anyway. Alright. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> this gets me mad. <laughs> uh, this is useless to me, but I have to because of the stupid people. The meeples. <laughs> You already have that in your park here, yeah. Yeah, no, but I have to. Is there a smaller one that you can do? Again, like if I'm if I have to choose, look at all these people that are left over. All right. You know, I need unless unless it would net me more points and it would it wouldn't matter. Um, it seems like it goes up by four or five points. Yeah, every new attraction goes up four or five. But do you have more than seven right now? I have five. Yeah, you need seven, at least seven, to score bonus points. That's disgusting. <laughs> seven different types of attractions. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll do this then. I'll just go for broke. It's fine. Five bucks. Boom. All right. And, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> crap. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. Beautiful. Me. I have that one. Okay, well, fine. Okay, um, I still need to place, let's see, I've got, I'm trying to figure out, one, two, okay, so I need a third of that color, which I might as well get this out of the way, um, or, or do I want to ride first and then buy that? Um, if I were to buy a ride, what would it be? It wouldn't matter at this point. Um, yeah, I'll take... See, I need, actually, I need a burger connected. I can't, oh yeah, yeah, okay, I actually need two, okay. Um, yikes. Mmm. Unless I buy two of them, that would take... Okay, so I can do one... I've got that there. Yellow. Okay, I can do the yellow. Okay, so I, I either need one with two. Yeah, I, I, there's none. All right, so I'm going to have to put down one of these here. It's just a fountain that's four bucks. And your turn. Crap. Okay. And that crosses off that fountain. Just so you know what we're doing. Oh, hit the camera. That's what the score sheet looks like. It's uh, you get bonus points for every different type you cross off. At the end of the game, it's the green and blue meeples are worth one point each. The purple and yellow meeples are worth two points each. At the end of the game, if you have any at your entrance, it's minus one for blue and green, minus two for uh, pink and yellow. Also, for any paths that mismatch, it's minus two each, and then you get a grand total here. Okay, so once again, Vinny photo bombed us by taking a shower, and you can hear running water in the background. It never never fails. Twelve thirty at midnight. Uh, Twelve thirty at night. You think? I should say twelve thirty in the morning. That's how tired I am. So you picked one. Yeah. How much is that? This is five bucks. Five bucks. And I guess I'll put it here. All right. Cool. At this point, I am going to grab another one of these. Put that there. And it's four bucks. Just another one of those wild fountain ones. Oh my god, you stole my wild. You 
Sure. There's a wild bird for you. Yeah, but you might get it. <laughs> Swear at me. <laughs> I will take a wild one. Put that God knows where. <laughs> that good, huh? Okay. Let's see. Um Do I want to advertise? If I advertise, then I'll be over on the one color. So, well, um, maybe I could connect. Connect for me. I can't even connect any concession stands at this point to earn more. Um, so it'd have to be like a ride. For three bucks, I can do that, and the pads. Okay, so for three bucks, one, two, three. Okay, does this refresh? Yeah, both. They should. They should have all refreshed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three bucks. Three bucks for this one, which can go all funny like over here because it doesn't matter. It's a dump. You're encroaching on your landfill space. It's a dump. <laughs> all right, and refresh. I'm gonna pass and guarantee my bus that I want. Um, I could advertise, but I don't have any pink. Uh, this pink would not fit here because I have no gift shop next to it. So, like, for me to advertise for t two pink meeples right now and may possibly lose the bus I want. So I'm going to pass and take this one. Damn. Is that the one you wanted? Yeah. Alright, so three yellow. Um, Damn. Burger. Oh, can't do that. Um, I know one goes there. One goes there. And one goes there. And then my one, two blue there. And I think, oh, yeah, one blue down here. This one needs a toilet, but there's an empty space here for a blue as well. All right, I'm good. You royally screwed me. <laughs> sorry. You really, really royally screwed me. That sucks. I'm so sorry. So, just so we can actually see better, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on our parks so you can see what the uh, sort of the end game looks like. There we go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're going to take, you're going to pass and take a bus? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Can they go anywhere? One of them can. Whereas if I took that one, it would be less meeples and I could at least fill two more spots. I see. I'm sorry. And all these dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add up my total while, I'm, while you're doing that. I have 11 things. That's 20 points. That's crazy. I have how many green meeples? One, two, three, four, five, six green I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue. How many pink? One, two, three time, times two is six. Yellow meeples, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two is, um, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, 14. I have no meeples left over and I have no paths that end abruptly in the grass, that's zero. And let's see, final score. So 20 plus, all right, six plus six is 12, plus seven is 19, 19 plus 14 is 19 plus 14 is 36, carry the 156. So we're looking at 76. Not too bad. <laughs> How, what did you get? Are you still calculating? <laughs> You're still trying to bury the bodies over there. Hold on, wait, I got those. 
This is embarrassing. I I, I want to start this over because this is bold. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I feel on some of the games we play? I'm no, that's that's different. I, the whole game since the beginning, I was down. Why not? Again, let's give you this. Give you like ten victory points as cool. a const. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm offering. I'm so mad. Hold on. <laughs> 24 points. <laughs> Flipping the table over. <laughs> this isn't tabletop 24 simulator. 24 versus 70. But it, does, it doesn't count. This game doesn't count. Okay. I, uh, Fair $3. Enough. This royally screwed me. I had no idea that... It's my fault that I didn't explain yes, it better. Yes, that's what I will co go with. It is absolutely your fault. I lost. I, I, it's my fault for giving you a primer <laughs> before the camera and then giving a primer during we the camera. We have to play this again. This video is no good. Because you lost. <laughs> no, because, listen, if I lost fair and square, that's one thing. I did not lose fair and square. All right, I will give you... <laughs> it doesn't matter. I will give you I a 50 point... <laughs> I will give you 50 points as a consolation, right? Okay, you know what? You 74 know what? to 70, I win. Even if I lost by less. <laughs> it's all right, it's fine. So aside from the fact that you hated this per current game, what do you think of the game as a whole? I, I don't know. I can't judge it because I didn't play it properly. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't. What am I supposed to say? All right. I will say... <laughs> That I loved this no, game. Oh, I'm sure you did. Because I beat the pants <laughs> off of Vita Lee. That's how we. That's how we review games around here. <laughs> no, if, if we're salty about the game, we hate I'm it. So salty. Yeah. No, no, it was it was okay. First of all, the drafting of the the bosses, like I. I can understand where they're going with the advertisement mm -hmm. bit, but we didn't advertise once throughout the entire game. Yeah. It was hard enough keeping up with the people that were coming in via buses to ever need an advertisement action. Mm -hmm. um, and I was play I thought I played very well, and I still never needed the advertisement action. So mm -hmm. I, I can understand where they're going with that. Maybe it's to help, like, let's say that you know that you can't get certain colors in. Maybe it's to help you get pink, concentrate on pink and yellow in your park, and then that will help you negate the blues and greens that you won't be placing. Mm -hmm. I can maybe see that as a strategy. I like the idea of a market, you know, big rides, little rides, concession stands, and some concession stands will boost other rides and you'll be able to put those meeple types down. I like that, you know, different rides need different colored meeples. Mm -hmm. um, I like the bus drafting, whoever ends their turn, whoever passes first gets first draft. So there's some strategy, and I've got money left over, but I, I want that bus first, and that might help you out. Um, so yeah, I, I like, as a casual game, like, I would call this a light to moderate strategy game. Um, I can see light to moderate strategy fans liking this. Um, I can't see, like, old grandma, <laughs> assuming that they're not, like, a Euro game or something. Like, I can't see her pulling this up what are all these people what do i do what do you mean paths like this that would be too complicated for the super casual gamer family but for those that like the light strategy for the the that that want a thinking game without it being too thinky and like a park builder without it being too thinky then i'd say this game is perfect for that um it it ticks all the boxes pretty well um, there's a couple of uh, games similar to this, one that involves park animals. It's like Zoo, not Zoo Tycoon, but it's like um, there, there's a zoo, zoo game mm. where you'll be put, putting animals down on a grid the in fences. such a way. Huh? The fences and all that, or no? I, no, it's, it's, I don't remember the exact name of it. It's been a while, mm. but there's a zoo game where you've got a grid like this, and you can buy extensions for it, and you can put animals down, and um, you, you can put various toiletries or things down to boost certain buildings. It plays exactly like those other games that I'm drawing a blank on at mm -hmm. 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, so it's similar to that. So if you if you enjoy tile placement games like organization, uh, if you enjoy tile laying and pathing and you know organizing and, and resource management in terms mm -hmm. of meeples and money, then yeah, this is a really good game. It, it, the quality is very well done too. So yeah, I, I like this I, one. I liked this game too, despite you know having played it properly. Like I actually really liked it. Um, it reminds me a lot of Steam Park. 
That Steam Park game, I think. You never played Steam Park. I thought I did. You never. Which one was the tiny epic amusement parks or something like that? That is a different game. Is it? Is that one with the cards that you're thinking of? No. There was like a... Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There was an amusement there park There is no game. tiny epic version of an amusement park uh, game. Well, the, the, the one we recently played were the cards where you had uh, five columns and you were playing cards and stacking each column. No, I don't remember. But it was an amusement park game and it kind of reminded me of this. Okay. Uh, because you get to build like your own amusement park. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not a big fan of tile-based games like Carcassonne, mm -hmm. but I liked this one. It was cute. The pathings were really cute. Um, like I, I like that game mechanic. The buses was overwhelming because you just constantly kept getting meeples coming in. Oh my poor! Child. I would have loved <laughs> a, a separate deck of buses that had less. Like for casual players that don't want the pressure, yeah. like a, ca a separate deck of cards that's beginner friendly with less meeples on it. Or what beginners could do is, and again, people hate it when I suggest casual <laughs> rules. Instead of like whenever buses are drawn, maybe take one less of each color. So for example, like this would be three green and one yellow. And then put those... That way you've got less people coming into your park. Mm -hmm. The downside is is that you won't be earning as much income. Yeah. And if you do that, maybe give each player more grant money at the beginning of every round to compensate for that. Yeah. So there are ways to help address the fact that you're getting tons of people all the time. You know what I mean? I think uh, even just getting rid of a bus altogether and have like a set of five of these... And then you have to pick like two, you know, you have to pick a mandatory two out of the five. Or draft, like, draft yeah. so many of those like there's, without paying for it. Just, yeah. just draft them. There's so many ways to customize this and, and I do kind of like it. Um, mm -hmm. I love the score pad. I like that you can collect one of each ride. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty decent. I yeah. liked it. Mm -hmm. Not because I did well, but just... In general, it plays very well. It, it ticks a lot of different boxes, and the quality is good, and mm -hmm. it's good for the light to moderate casual gamer family. Mm -hmm. Not too casual, but casual. Yeah. Casual light. So, yeah. That was Meeple Land by Blue Orange Games. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Idalee. The salty idly. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take Bye, care. Guys.